Hey, this is Bill from CRZ Forum. Uh, I just got my car PC all set up. Uh, so I think I'm going to show everybody what I've got. Uh, so first, let me show you the, sort of the, the main point of it here. Uh, this is a, an 8 inch touchscreen. It's the Lilliput uh, 869. Eight, um, I've got these. These are actually the uh, the navigation versions uh, of these buttons and indicator here. So that turns on my hazards. Uh, and this is the indicator for the passenger seat um, airbag. Uh, on the right hand side, you see these three holes. These will eventually be filled. There'll be a button here, uh, a button here, and then a uh, what do you call it? Rotary encoder with a push button there. Uh, so that way I can control things without having to go through the touch screen. Uh, so, let me show you what happens here. Uh, so now normal operation is you jump in the car and you... Um, actually, I'll give it a second so you can see. Uh, so you can see it starts coming up on the screen here. Uh, and that's the uh, you know, Intel stuff. Uh, but normally you don't wait for it to come up. You go ahead and pop the computer in reverse. And so that's what I've got it doing here. So this displays my rear view camera. Uh, the grid, I don't know where that comes from. It's like hardwired into the camera. Um, uh, so I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna probably get rid of that somehow. Uh, so I'll put it back into park. And you'll see it switches back over to DVI, which is the uh, car PC. I have it currently set to open iTunes by default. And I can hit uh, hit my steering wheel controls here. If I can come back. This is play pause. switches to the next and previous. Uh, so that's how it works for now. I'll turn it down. I'm still trying to figure out exactly what I want all the controls to do. Uh, on this side it's kind of obvious, right? You just, you know, volume up control, or uh, volume up and down channel, forward and next. Uh, this side here is a little bit trickier, um, so I haven't rigged these up yet, so they're not actually on the computer, but they will be, and I think I, I might have these control like different uh, uh, modes of operation, so long as you're not in cruise control. Um, and so again, while you're you know driving around, you got you know you maybe need to park somewhere, you pop it into reverse, and it automatically switches to the reverse cam. Uh, so, now that I've shown you that, let's, uh, let's go ahead and show you how all this stuff works. Oh, actually, let me go ahead and turn the car off, too. So you see, you turn the car off, the car PC stays on, uh, for something like five seconds. Um, and then we'll automatically shut down. Okay, so, now let's go over some things here. So this is all in the back, right here. So this is the car PC. See all this big mess of wires here. I'll just give you a quick little overview. Almost everything is put onto little connectors, so you can see that I have them here. Um, and everything's all labeled. This way I can just sort of pull everything apart um, pretty easily. Uh, sort of a central feature of this car PC is this little box right here. And this little box is my power control module. Um, you see that there's a power light that is directly wired up to the battery. Oh, I didn't even show you the battery yet. Let me show you the battery. Here's the battery. It's an Optima 12 volt battery. Uh, this is the yellow top 
obviously. It's got a yellow top. So it's mostly a deep cycle battery is what I use it for. Uh, 48 amp hour. It has enough juice to run the car PC for in the range of an entire day. Alright, so let's look at this now. Um, so you'll see that there's three uh, three-way toggle switches on the top and then a two-way toggle switch on the bottom. Um, since I don't have my Arduino in here yet, I've got it set to switch the LCD power based on the M4 power supply. So that's whenever the car PC is, uh, has electricity, it will turn the LCD on. Um, and so this here, I'll get some of these wires out of the way. This here controls all of the power that goes to, uh, not the car PC actually, the car PC powers itself um, through the M4 ATX power supply. But the LCD um, display and the reverse camera and whether the LCD is in reverse camera mode or regular you know, computer mode, those are all controlled through this. Very, very important. And it all sits in the little cubbies of the CRZ. Um, and there's little tie downs to keep the PC from moving too much and same with the battery. The battery is very heavy so I had to make sure it's tied down otherwise it will ram me in the back if I'm in a car accident. Uh, as you can see this, uh, this sort of back seat fold down is not finished yet. Uh, I still have to put some paint on it. And I also have to wire up the fans. But when this is closed you know, it doesn't look any different than any other CRZ, really. So, that's my car PC. Thanks.